Morning guys, Andy here. Hope you are all doing very well. So, um, today what do I want to speak about? Well, I want to speak about your network. Okay, I want to speak about the importance of who you hang around with. Okay, because it makes absolutely all the difference to trading success. Because a lot of people are kind of focusing on strategy, finding a great system, finding, you know, a way to make money based on the technical part of trading. But actually, your network is absolutely more important than any strategy you could possibly learn. Let me explain it a bit more. So, the way you want to think about this, you may have heard the saying, you know, think of the five people you spend the most time with and look at their salaries or their their income and you're probably about the average of that right you may have heard that saying before so a lot of people kind of ask me well how do I kind of start hanging around richer people right so I can become rich too and it's a good question but here's the thing that I want you to get it's not about the money it's about the mindset that's the key thing here that people are missing so what I want you to think about is, I want you to think about the people that you hang around with, the people that you know and you spend time with. And I want you to think about whether those people fall into one of the two categories that I'm about to explain. Category one is these people make you feel big, make you feel important, or these people make you feel small and unimportant. Now, if it falls in the category of making you feel small, then these people are holding you back from achieving your goals. And if the people that you're hanging around with make you feel big, they're pushing you and propelling you to success. Now, even if they are not having the success in terms of income that you desire, the very fact that they are you know your supporters they're going to help you along your journey and those people are the kind of people you want to hang around with okay because they will inspire you to achieve greater things i can't stress this enough right you must hang around positive people but also i want you to think about your activities i want you to think about what you spend your time with so a lot of people say i don't have time you know, how many people use that excuse? I don't have time to learn. I don't have time. You know, I just want to copy you. I just, you know, all this kind of nonsense. But everybody's got time. It's where you are prioritizing your time. So if you really think about it, you know, break down what you're doing with your time. And I would put it into three categories. One, negative activities. Two, positive activities. And three, neutral activities. Now, you want to be spending your time doing more positive activities than negative activities. That goes without saying. And then I would probably say 80% should be positive, 20% should be neutral, and zero negative. That would be the ideal. And that's kind of the goal. Now, what do I mean by positive? Well, positive could be anything that's going to help you be better at what you do. So, for example, learning, um, reading a book, um, listening to these kind of videos and, um, you know, going to the gym, all these kind of things. These are positives. Okay. These are positive activities that are leading you towards your ultimate goal. And then you have things that are neutral. So possibly neutral could be watching you know, wasting your time watching a few films or watching some TV or whatever. These could be neutral depending on what you watch. And then negative could be anything that basically, you know, makes you go the other way. So it could be, for example, generally speaking, if you're not exercising, that's a bad thing. Or if you're eating bad food all the time, not eating enough nutrient foods to help you be energized, that's a bad thing. So you know, you can make a list of activities that you do and then categorize them and then you can kind of quickly see which activities you do spend the most time on. And you'll probably see 
where you need to improve. And if you improve these things, guys, I promise you, you know, whatever you're trying to achieve, hopefully you're trying to achieve, you know, success at trading and whatever endeavors you're going for, they will transform very, very quickly. If you move the negative, reduce it and do more positive activities, you will absolutely start to make really good progress. And it's just a step by step. It's not overnight, but step by step, you start to see your results improve, your circumstances improve, and you won't even realize it because it's just happening gradually. But you will one day sit back and think, wow, how did I get to this place? Okay, guys, wishing you a great day. Good trading. Have a good one, and I'll catch you again soon with another update. Take care. Bye-bye.